On-the-scene coverage of AHA 13 is supported by Janssen Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. Somewhat surprisingly, I think a lot of surgeons would say they would not have expected the clinical results to be so similar. So the, the conclusion is that uh, repair or replacement are equally effective in terms of one-year follow-up. The, uh, the clinical outcomes are, are similar with one exception, and that is that there was a significant amount of re recurrent mitral regurgitation in the repair patients. A third of the repair patients uh, developed uh, significant regurgitation within one year, questioning the durability of the repair. 24-month, two-year follow-up is uh, underway, and I think that the findings at two years will, will uh, allow us to, to conclude that, or to see whether uh, the durability issue is, is a factor for long, longer-term follow-up. Already three patients in the repair group required reoperation because of the severity of the regurgitation. It's possible the second year there will be more. And that would probably shift the, the decision making in favor of replacement. It's very important to, to keep in mind that we're talking about ischemic mitral regurgitation, also called functional regurgitation, not degeneration, degenerative valvular problems. So this is a different subset of patients, uh, in general more difficult, more challenging. And I think the fact that repair uh, did not hold up so well uh, it reflects the fact that this is a ventricular problem and even a, a full ring that was used for the repair patients did not seem to be quite as durable as the, uh, as the mitral prosthesis.